Hello, hello, hello everybody. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Y'all, I have a new baby and it is the almond cow. So I'm excited about it. I'm super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Hey y'all. So we are going to be unboxing the Almond Cow Milk Maker. And in honor of my two year anniversary of being on YouTube, I know I haven't made the best progress, but I'm still here, I'm still pushing, I'm still pressing and going. I am going to remake my very first video, which was uh, cashew milk. And I will post that video somewhere up here and you all can go and watch it but we're gonna remake that video by making cashew milk today but in the milk maker the the nut milk maker so almond cow i've been like watching their videos for a while um i've been watching them on instagram and that's how i found them so y'all i have the directions here when you first open the box they have a quick start guide it says before before first use, please read all of the, the safety notices in the instruction booklet. Um, <clears throat> it says, meet your almond cow. It's going to tell you everything that it comes with, which is a cow button. Um, yeah, cow button, top, filter basket, base, collector cup, and power cord. Step one, we're going to go through that, all the steps when we get ready to open it, but I'm gonna let y'all see what is in it. And it says, make your first batch of milk. It has some ingredients. Um, I wanted to kind of quickly see what kind of, oh, it just says one cup of nut, seed, or grain of choice. Um, you can use almonds, oats, you can use cashews, whatever you prefer. We will get into that later, but I had to look at that first. Okay, drink outside the box, a guide to making milk and more. So they have a little booklet here with a QR code on the inside. Watch our how-to videos here and some instructions and recipes. Oh, and it also shows you how to clean it. So this is very important. Maintenance and cleaning on page 16, very important, okay? So then they have the power plug, which we'll be using in a bit, of course. Um, I normally talk about the design of the box, so I'm going to get into that before I start taking out everything. I love the um, colors and the design of the box. It has a lot of nuts and seeds on here. And then the back says, let me see if I can read backwards. It says, we're about being kind to the earth. No ifs, ands, just nuts about it. So I do love the design of the box. Um, sometimes that doesn't matter to certain people, but I appreciate the design, the time that they took, the consideration and the effort that they put into the box. It says, uh, the possibilities are nuts. So a few play on words, the modern way to get milk. Okay, so for the best part, uh, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, we have our power cord here and we have, I guess this is just a little almond cow sticker. There's nothing on the inside, so a little protective covering. And then we have our almond cow milk maker. I love that it's in this bag. So you probably could store some things in here or once you clean out your machine, you could probably wash it, dry it, and just sit in here um, in case you're on the go. I have so many plans for it. So this is actually a big deal to me. All right, so we're going to open it, Almond Cow. Let's say hashtag, hashtag make your plant milk. Okay, so be on the lookout, almond cow, because I will be hashtagging my 
nothing else. Okay. So this is it. I'm gonna set that to the side. This is our almond cow. So now, y'all, I'm excited. I just want to say that there are so many plant-based milks in um, the stores, in these markets. There's so many plant-based milks. I am more so uh, focused on making healthier everything. A lot of the things that they're putting in the markets, they are not necessarily 100% nut milks. So I will be listing, um, put, I will be putting some pictures. Who is there? Tiana, Tashawn, Tyler. Why? Oh, okay, take her upstairs. Come on, I, I want to make this a quick video. You just don't want to be outside, and don't you get in my bed. You heard me? Yeah, please. So I will be posting some uh, photos here that explains how a lot of the milks that we are purchasing from the stores are filled with so many gums and different uh, concentrated products. There's so many different chemicals that are being placed into these nut milks. And here we are thinking that we're getting plant-based products. And that's not all the time, you know, that's not necessarily the case. So I will, like I said, I've posted some pictures here so that you can take a look at those. Um, it's important to remember that the front is for entertainment purposes and the back is for educational purposes or the side wherever they have the ingredients listed that's where you really know you know what is in what you're purchasing okay so i'm gonna rinse this out because that's just what i like to do and i don't think there's a special way to take it off and it's not so I'm gonna rinse this stuff off before we start making our milk. But on the inside we have, and let's get this guide that tells us what everything is called, the quick start guide. So this is, this right here at the top, obviously, is the cow button. So you can press that when it's time to make your milk. This is the top, this is considered the top okay and then this here i'm assuming is the filter this is the filter basket so i like that this is a very nice sized basket it has half and then one on the um basket so half and then one half one i'm not sure oh at the one mark that is the max line and at the half mark, that is the minimum line, but it doesn't say minimum. So I guess, I don't know. We'll see what that's in reference to because I don't know if that's half full and whole full, half an ounce, one ounce, I don't know. I don't know, so we'll figure that out. It also has a lock and arrow on it, so it shows you that if you turn it this way, you're locking it. So that's that, that's the filter basket. Okay, and inside of the filter basket, we have the collector cup. So this is going to collect something. It is 700 milliliters, maybe 800, because there's a line, you know, if we filled it up to the, the rim, it would be 800 milliliters, but it says 700 milliliters on the collector cup. So that definitely needs to be washed out along with the fil filter basket. Um, this is, I'm assuming a coaster, but it does not say that. This is, it's, oh, okay. This says how to use your collector cup. So now we know, and it came in the collector cup. So this is why you gotta read stuff because me personally, I like to get to the point, but uh, it doesn't hurt to take, you know, some time to read. So it says you can stand it, make creamer or secure it. 
flip this in slip flip this insert over to find out how to make creamer that's one of the things i definitely do want to make and once you're done use it as a coaster okay it did give me coaster vibes there's a recipe on the back but this is how to use your collector cup okay and then we also have basket lock alerts always tighten and lock the filter basket before use holding the almond cow with one hand attach the filter basket with the other just like this firmly grasping the filter basket twist it to the right to securely tighten and lock it into place just like this okay Okay, warning, never blend without checking that the filter basket is firmly connected and secure into place. Attempting to blend while the filter basket is loose can damage your almond cow. We don't want that. Okay, so we have read all of the instructions. This is the base. It has a minimum and a maximum line. And look how big that is, y'all. I don't know how many ounces this will make at a time. I'm assuming 32, we're gonna go for 32 ounces today, but this is pretty big and I love that. So we are going to make cashew milk, okay? So I had to be careful washing this out, but I did wash it out um, because the there's a power plug here. So I figured it was somewhere. So I was mindful while washing it out. So I have some stuff here on the side. I'm gonna plug this in. Okay. That's plugged in. So like I said, there's a minimum. I think it's about right here. And then there's a maximum line here. The minimum and maximum, they're not far apart. So you would think that with things like this, the minimum line would be here and then the maximum line would be about here. But we're going to go with the flow. And so we have a minimum and maximum line. We have our quick start guide that tells us what to do. So first we're going to fill uh, the base with water to the minimum or maximum line. I want the max because I'm trying to fill up my 32 ounce jar with plant-based milk. So we are going to fill the base with water. You could do the minimum, you can do the maximum or in between. And let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Cause guess what? This 32 ounce jar didn't even reach the minimum line. So y'all, I'm assuming I'm gonna need two of these, which is half a gallon of milk. So do I wanna make half a gallon of milk? Let me think about that. I'll go to the minimum line. We put our water in the base. Next, we are going to add our nuts. So add dry ingredients to the filter basket is what it says. Now, what I did was I washed everything out and I added, I see that they use a lot of uh, chopped nuts. And when they sell them on the website, they're normally chopped. So my cashews that I purchased are, that I normally get, they're whole cashews. Some of them are chopped up, but they're whole cashews. So, um, what I did was I blended them up a little bit. Okay. It says to um, add your dry ingredients to the filter basket up to the max. Oh, okay, that's what this is for. This is that half and that, that one. That's where you're gonna put your, how far you're gonna fill your nuts. Add dry ingredients to the filter basket up to the max one cup line. So it is half a cup and one cup. Do not overfill. If your recipe calls for liquid ingredients, it says to add them into the water that is in the base. And let's say we wanted to add vanilla extract into the base. You can do that, but whatever you add that is liquid, do not go past the maximum line. So your your um, water would be filled with vanilla extract or lemon juice or whatever, depending on what you're making. So we're gonna fill these up to the maximum line. I'm gonna go max. Okay, and then 
You're gonna secure the filter basket to the top of the almond cow by twisting the basket to the right. So next we're gonna take this and we are going to shimmy this in here. And you wanna hold this and you wanna twist it. Make sure it locks. If it does not lock, it's not on there right. Okay? So, I'm moving it around. It's not going anywhere, so we're good. Okay? So, the next step is we're going to place... We, we've already plugged it up. Place the top of the almond cow. It says to place the top of the almond cow into the base. Okay, and attach the power cord. We've already attached the power cord. So you have to line this piece here up with this piece here. And you know, some people may not know. Some people may try to put it on this way or all sorts of ways. So we're gonna put it on just like this. The blue light is on, I'm excited. Okay, then you're gonna press it. Y'all, we're making this in real time. It says when the blue light is solid, your milk is ready. Right now, it's a flashing light. The light is blue and it says that when your light turns blue and it's solid when the blue light is solid your milk is ready i'm excited i'm nervous to take it off but i'm excited to take it off this is just um plain cashew milk so what i'm going to do is use this for my cheese recipes like i've always done it doesn't necessarily tell you a special way to oh you just take it off Okay, it says to remove the top with the filter basket, still attached, and stand it in the collector cup. So it's going to collect the milk, okay? Stand it in the collector's cup. You're gonna place your milk into a container and store um, anywhere between three to five days, and I'm so sure that I'll, I already have used my milk by this time. Y'all, it made a large batch of milk. Let me let y'all get a close look. Look at the milk, look at the milk. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm excited, y'all. I'm about to be milking, you hear me? So we have our 32 ounce jar here. And honestly, normally I would like to strain it. I would probably strain it just to get a lot of that foam out if I was using this for um, my golden milk or a plant-based coffee, making coffee with my plant-based creamer or something like that, I would probably keep it frothy, but we're just gonna go ahead and pour it up. So let's, let's push this to the side, y'all, okay? Mmm. Look at that. Look at me. And y'all, I, I love the smell of it. It smells like it's not watery. I normally use about the same amount of cashews when I'm making my cashew milk and my Vitamix. In my first video, I think I used about three cups, which was a whole lot. But what I did was I added a lot of water to it and I um, just shook it periodically while it was in the fridge and I continue to add water. This is plain cashew milk. 
I normally don't like milk. Like coming up as a little girl, I would never, ever, ever drink milk. Um, it had to be super cold, super sweet. But y'all, this puts some ease to my mind. It's a mental thing. This puts ease to my mind knowing that this is not from an animal. Um, there's still quite a bit of milk in here. So I am going to probably use that in a recipe. But y'all, we got 32 ounces of cashew milk. I think I'm going to pour some and taste it. I'm nervous. Mmm. It's good. It tastes like cashews. You can taste that there's cashew in it. Y'all, this is going to be mine or for my family for recipes like um, different cheese sauces that I make. I'll probably use that for them, but this is very, very refreshing. It's not warm because when I would make it in the Vitamix, it will have a warm taste to it, which would be fine if I'm making it fresh to go ahead and start cooking. But this, this is absolutely incredible. So we're going to top this up. So I am going to label this cashew milk. I'm gonna use it for my recipes, meals that I've made. Y'all have seen me make several um, recipes with cashew milk. Like I said, I normally make it other ways. This took maybe two minutes to make. I let it play real time so that you all can really see how long it took to make it, but y'all, we just made some cashew milk and I'm super excited, okay? I can't wait to like make more. Stay tuned for more. Comment down below and let me know what you wanna see me make. We will make more. I'm thinking of doing something a little more sweet. Um, so I did have some dates out here. If you wanna see other varieties of natural milks, natural nut milks or if you want to see seeds or grains like oats y'all i'm ready to make some creamer and i don't want to do it without y'all so y'all leave me a comment down below let me know what you want to see and i will make it this is this is a game changer y'all only two ingredients you probably can add a little salt to like preserve the freshness i don't know why you would if you will go ahead and use it up but if not, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Fresh, quick, two ingredients. You don't have to worry about what's in it, what's not in it, um, whether or not your, your child can have it. It's fresh and all you have to do is put a date on it and label it and you're good to go. So listen, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So if you do like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Comment your favorite plant-based milk in the comments below. I would have to say that mine is cashew. So comment your favorite nut milk by hashtagging your favorite nut milk. The color is just so beautiful. God is just so amazing. Look at what he created. And all you gotta do is blend it up with some water and drink it. Um, I'm going to leave some benefits of cashews and what it's good for concerning your body. So, um, this is to my two year anniversary, cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share the video. I will see y'all soon. Yeah. While she was making this, I was babysitting.